Today's the day we've been waiting for. This is the third and last part for the Titan 814 on the mill turn. In the first video, we set up all our tools in the SMX 3100 to run the Titan 814, which is an awesome part made out of 17-4 stainless steel. In the second video, we cut our threads on the front of the part and put a nice center hole in, which let us bring our live center in and we got everything ready for today's operation. And now today, we're actually going to machine the long shaft of this part. We're gonna leave it a little bit big, around 10 thousandths for the grinding operation. After that, we're gonna machine some flats and then we're gonna flip the part around and finish it off on the back side so we can give the part to Scott, who's gonna put it on the S41 grinder to finish this part off and bring it absolutely perfect within tenths. Make sure you stay for the end because I'm gonna do a really cool trick with this machine to hit an impossible feature. The first tool up is the same OD rougher we used in the last operation, the CNMG 432. I'm running it at 250 SFM with a feed rate of 12 thousandths per revolution and a depth of cut of 130 thousandths. This OD roughing tool is gonna to be leaving 40 thousandths for the finish pass. This tool is removing a lot of material and at the start of the cut, we have a little bit of a long chip, but shortly after it engages, the chips come out nice and small. So I'm really happy with the parameters we're using. The next tool up is the Kenna Metal Mill 412 KT Shell Mill. I have a KCPM 40 insert and I'm gonna be using the shell mill to do the hex on the back of the part. I wanted to run this tool a lot more aggressive, but because of the length, the tool is sticking out and we needed the length so we had our clearances between the part and the chuck, I had to slow it down. So with this tool, I'm running it at 96 SFM and I'm going six inches per minute. For the depth of cut, I'm taking 100 thousandths per pass until the finish pass, which is taking 30 thousandths. For the finish pass, I'm going with 300 SFM and a finish of 8.5 inches per minute. We slowed down the feed per tooth on the finish pass, but we sped up things a little bit by cranking up the SFM. For the last tool on this side, we have the VNMG 431, the same OD finisher we used on the previous operation. And this guy will be running 250 SFM with a feed rate of 3 thousandths per revolution. We shouldn't have any chatter issues or anything because of our setup using the tail center, so it should run nice and smooth. For the roughing pass, I left 40 per wall, and that seems like a lot. For the finishing pass, I'm still gonna leave the OD big for the shaft, but we're gonna be finishing up all the other surfaces. I want that OD to stay big for the grinder so Scott can dial it in. Part's all done on this side. I'm gonna retract the tail center and then we're gonna unclamp the part. I'm gonna put in some new jaws so I can clamp onto my finished OD surface and then we're gonna finish up the back side and get it ready for Scott. So now that our part is flipped around, we're gonna start off by facing the back end of the part and bringing our overall length of 18 inches to size. This is the same CNMG 432 that ran on the previous operations. We're running it at 250 SFM with a feed rate of 12 thousandths per revolution. Because this is the last operation and because of how much material is sticking out of the back, I'm gonna drop my depth of cut to 60 thousandths per face pass and we're just gonna creep it into size. So this tool is gonna go and face off until it's about five thousandths away from my overall length of 18 inches. And then after it's done facing, it's just gonna skim a little bit off the OD to bring us closer to our finished diameter. The next tool is the same VNMG 431, and this tool is gonna face the part, and then we're gonna do some trick OD roughing with this tool. We're gonna run it at 250 SFM with a feed rate of three thousandths per revolution, And for the undercut that we're gonna be doing, I'm gonna be taking it in 30 thousandths passes. 
Now the cool thing about this toolpath, I wasn't sure how to hit this angle and it was actually kind of driving me crazy because I couldn't finish it on the first operation and the tool I picked couldn't quite get that angle because of how deep it is. It actually hit me that I actually rough out that undercut if I tilted the nine axis head at an angle. So I kicked the tool out a little bit, matched it up with the angle of the undercut and it fits perfectly in there. I just have to watch the exit clearance and make sure that that tool isn't gonna touch the jaws. And then finally, we have our center drill coming up and this is gonna pop a second center hole for Scott to hold on the grinder. So this is the same number five center drill that we saw a while ago. I'm running it with the same speeds and feeds, 100 SFM and a feed per revolution of 0 0.0058. And I'm taking this in about 375 thousandths deep. So put a nice center hole in the part. And with that, the Titan 814 is ready for the grinding operation. It's been a little bit of a journey, but we're all done with the lathe operations on this part. It's ready to go to Scott and he's gonna get a nice surface ground on that OD. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.